Okay, so we'll start video six with our aggregate expenditure model and, um, and only having consumption and investment in it. So we're assuming that our economy is basically, and we're only looking at the private sector, so there's no government, no public sector, and also that our country is closed to trade, so there's no uh, net export um, component to GDP yet. So we're just looking at C and C plus I. And in video six, what we're doing is we're going to learn about disequilibrium in the model and why our economy always gravitate towards equilibrium, which is where C plus I, our C plus I line, is going to cross the disposable income line. So basically at this point right here, right? So this is our equilibrium. Now the question is, why is it that we always gravitate towards there? And this is what I'm going to attempt to answer in, um, in this video. So let's start in a situation where we're in disequilibrium. So let's say that there is um, $6 trillion in our economy in uh, output, that we're producing an output of $6 trillion, and therefore our disposable income is $6 trillion. Okay. Um, okay, so what this tells you is that this basically is six trillion dollars, right? Because this, just remember, the disposable income line is a 45 degree line. So this is, you know, six, the value is six, right? And let's assume, and here's what I want you to see. At the level of six trillion dollars, consumption by people is basically this line, right? Uh, this green line. Consumption by businesses or investment is going to be this much, right? So the green is my consumption. Red is basically purchases by businesses or investment, but we call this specifically planned investment. This is investment that a business is planned on making. Okay. What I want you to notice though, see the red is going to be planned investment. What I'd like you to notice is that in our economy, remember disposable income as we have over here, right? Disposable income is equal to output, correct? So I can write down disposable income is equal to output. And what is happening at this level is that our economy is producing this much. And let me do it in uh, blue. We are producing this much, um, this much output, okay? Uh, $6 trillion worth of output, if you will, okay? But you're noticing that not all of it is consumed by people and by businesses, right? Because business consumed from other businesses uh, and people consume from businesses. So all the stuff that is created in our economy is actually not consumed, okay? And let's just say that this is, um, I don't know, let's say this is um, maybe five, okay? So $5 trillion is actually uh, bought by people and businesses. And so there's a difference of $1 trillion. And what this difference basically, this is really important. This signals to businesses, okay, that they produce too much, okay? We made, basically, businesses in our economy made $6 trillion worth of goods, right? But only $5 trillion was bought worth of goods. So there's a $1 trillion difference. And this $1 trillion, guess what? It's going to pile up in their inventory, okay? This is called unplanned investment. And you can think about this as our changes in inventory, right? Changes in inventory. Okay. And so what is that going to do? Well, businesses are going to realize, oh crap, we basically produce too much. And so if we produce too much, we are going to produce less. Okay, we should produce less. But remember, GDP is production, right? It is output. And so if businesses start to produce less, we are going to see our output decrease, right? Go in this direction, basically. Okay, so you're going to start to basically see our economy gravitate basically have the have our output value okay gravitate to the left 
Okay. Until when? Well, it will gravitate basically until our equilibrium point. Okay. So this point. Now, you might ask, why wouldn't it gravitate, um, you know, below it? Well, I'll show you in a second what happens if we are below it. Okay. But basically, businesses don't want to have any, you know, unsold goods. And so they're going to try their best to make it so that they don't have changes in inventory, so they don't have unplanned investment, so that they produce exactly the amount that people want to buy. And that only happens in equilibrium. Okay, so now let's see what happens when we are below equilibrium. Okay, so let's say that we're producing, the economy is only producing, you know, two trillion dollars um, worth of stuff. Okay, now how do I know that? I know that because, well, literally that's my output. And I also know that, you know, if I draw basically a straight line over here, that's going to be two trillion because it's a 45 degree line. Okay, so I'm producing two trillion dollars worth of stuff, but there's a lot more consumed in the economy, right? Like consumers alone, meaning households alone, end up purchasing this much, right? And I'll do it in magenta, okay? They end up purchasing this amount, right? So let's say that this amount is, um, you know, it's higher, it's like three or something. And consumers plus businesses um, end up consuming even more. They end up consuming, let's say, this amount, right? Which let's say it's like, you know, 3.7 or something, or maybe even four, okay? Maybe even, uh, let's just do 3.7 trillion. And so the question is, how come, the pe how come people bought more than was produced? Well, the answer is they bought it from previous um, you know, from inventory that piled up from previous years. Now, what I want you to notice is that this is the amount produced, right? And I'll do it in uh, black. This is the amount produced. And now let's do this in blue. Sorry, let's change it. This is the amount that is consumed, okay? And so there is there's a clear difference between the two right so this sends a signal to businesses that they're producing too few goods producing two trillion dollars worth of it but they really should produce a lot more right for all the consumption by people and by businesses and so businesses will produce more and that will gravitate our economy to the right output will increase and we will gravitate to the right how much so well, until they're able to satiate the amount that consumers want and the amount that businesses want to buy, okay? And so this point is the point of equilibrium. And I want to note, I want you to see just a few more things about this point because it's important. One property that we find at equilibrium is that there is no unplanned investment and also that planned investment, the difference between C and C plus I is actually equal to savings. Because remember that savings is the difference between savings is the difference is disposable income minus consumption. And so at equilibrium, saving, you know, uh, savings is from here to here, right? And um, consumption and a planned investment is also from there to there. And so there's also no unplanned investment and therefore there is no incentive for businesses to produce more or less. And therefore that's why we're gonna remain at this equilibrium and that's why the economy gravitate towards this equilibrium.